this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, group policy security filtering to limit uh, which users and computers that group policy is applied to. So for example, I've got this uh, limited control panel items group policy applied to HR OU. So uh, this group policy will be applied to all of these users in uh, this OU. So if I go to a computer, I'm logged in as one of those HR users. They're getting this group policy that is limiting which uh, control panel items they have access to. Um, but I want to make some ex exclusions or certain users like our admin users and specific users in that uh, HR OU that need access to um, all the control panel items. So an easy way to do that is with the uh, security filtering. So instead of creating another OU, moving users around, uh, doing all things like that, um, it's much easier, I think, and cleaner to use this uh, security filtering. So what you want to do is first create a group. And I'm going to call mine GPO deny limit control panel items. You can name yours whatever you want, but I like to uh, name it something descriptive. And then all you do is add in the users that you want to deny that group policy. So the, this, this user will have full access to the control panel items because they're going to be denied that policy that is restricting the control panel items. So once you create your group, come into group policy, and then come onto the delegation tab, click advanced, click add. Now add that group that you just created. And then what you're going to do is come down to apply group policy and you're going to select deny. Um, it's very important that you leave read alone. You want the group policy to be left as read. You just want it to deny uh, applying the group policy to that group. Everything else stays the same. So now when I log in with that user that's in this group, Alan Keys, that user should have full access to control panel. So as you can see, I didn't have to rearrange any OUs, didn't have to move users around. All I did was create a group and modify the security filtering on the GPO. So let me jump over to this computer. I'm going to log in with that user. And that user should have full access to the control panel. Okay, I'm logged in. Let me pull up the control panel. And there you can see that that user has full access to the control panel. And we can verify what's happening by running the GP result command. This will show you all of the group policies that is applied to the user. GP result slash R. And you can see here's the applied group policy object. There's three, and then the following GPOs were not applied because they were filtered out. And there you can see the limit control panels items policy was, was denied. Um, and let me log in with the other user, and you'll see that you'll see that this is not filtered out. Okay, I'm logged back in with the user that uh, the policy is applied to. And if I run GP result, you can see that the applied group policy objects, limited control panel items, and come down here to the following GPOs were, were not applied because they were filtered out, and that, that limited control panel items is not listed there. So that's it. Um, again, just a really, I find it a simple way to um, limit which users or computers have access to a group policy. Uh, treat it like as an exclusion list. Um, it's really useful when you have OUs that are applied at a higher up level, like at the domain level or at a root level. Um, 
so like the BitLocker here or this Chrome settings. So because this group policy is applied at the domain level, it's going to be applied to every user in the domain. So with a with a group policy applied at that high level, you probably will have the need for some exclusions, and that's where you could use this uh, security filtering to apply some exclusions. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.